Look! Up in an apartment building! Sitting on the bed! It's our first look at the Man of Steel in James Gunn's upcoming Superman film. The wait is finally over. Superhero fans just received their first look at the newest version of the titular character in James Gunn's Superman. And well, let's just put it this way. The reaction was as inevitable as the old Boy Scout saving cats from trees, turning green at the sight of kryptonite, and suddenly becoming incognito after slipping on a pair of glasses. Believe it or not, fans wasted no time at all taking to social media to voice their strong opinions on actor David Cornsweet's new look as Clark Kent slash Superman. Deciding which faction is right is probably as much a fool's errand as bad guys putting Lois Lane in danger while Metropolis's Man of Steel is on the lookout. For over a year since the project's initial announcement, those following this reboot closely have held their collective breath over all the aspects this fandom usually obsesses about. The casting, the logo, and the finer details of the super suit itself. Can a younger and relatively unknown actor exude the same type of movie star charisma that Christopher Reeves channeled to such great effect in his Superman movies? Does the logo hint at which comic books Gunn is using for inspiration? Are modern audiences ready to accept another live-action Superman who dares to wear the red trunks again? And, most importantly of all, will Superman ever finish putting on his boots so we can deal with that purple eyeball wrecking the city in the background? It only makes sense to start with the most obvious detail jumping out to most fans. While Zack Snyder's Man of Steel and the subsequent DC movies that followed in its wake swerved as hard as possible from a traditional Superman outfit, 2006's Superman Returns represented a much more faithful take on the classic Richard Donner design. What James Gunn and his creative team appear to have settled for in Superman can only be described as a healthy middle ground between both extremes, one that was established in another medium entirely, courtesy of 2011's New 52 overhaul. This wouldn't be the first time that the live-action DC movies had taken their cues from the same comics, as seen recently with Wonder Woman's origins as established in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and onwards. So what makes this instance stand out so dramatically? Consider that the fandom has always remained split in the New 52 Superman look, mostly as a result of the belt, the noticeably high collar, the abundance of busy-looking seam lines, and the generally foreboding look and feel of the armor. Gunn's reveal carries over many of these design elements, down to the awfully similar logo, though the armored texture has been replaced with a less bulky fabric material. Still, not everyone disapproves of the look. Writer Joshua Yell, formerly of IGN, astutely pointed out the mix of visual and tonal influences on display in an earlier tweet. I see Jim Lee's New 52 design mixed with the chill vibe of Grant Morrison's All-Star Superman. The latter has already been confirmed as a significant inspiration in the film further adding a feeling of method to Gunn's approach as he re-establishes DC's flagship superhero. You have places to go, people to save. Yes. Increasingly perceived as a relic of a bygone era, the Red Trunks might just stand as the most hotly debated issue in all of Superman fandom. Director Zack Snyder previously put quite a bit of consideration into having Henry Cavill Soups don the underwear on the outside, but ultimately pulled back in favor of a more grounded look. That doesn't appear to be an obstacle for the DC Universe as rebooted by James Gunn, who has spoken on prior occasions about his intentions of having the titular character embody kindness in a world that thinks of kindness as old-fashioned. In other words, don't expect a brooding and self-serious Superman who struggles to live up to the impossible standards of the superhero ideal this time around. That doesn't necessarily mean fans should brace themselves for a campy, outdated tone. Instead, the trunks imply this version of Superman will be a more earnest one. The pose itself may leave a bit to be desired, along with the oddly poor lighting for such a momentous reveal. And even if this image was captured entirely in-camera, as Gunn claimed on Instagram threads, it does little to dispel the first impression among many that this first look appeared to be generated by AI. Minor gripes aside, however, it seems to strike the correct tone for the Superman reboot. Fans can reasonably look forward to a more traditional, hopeful, and optimistic take on the world's most famous superhero. Superman flies into theaters on July 11, 2025.